Hi, I'm Trev Krepke and welcome back to The Maker Show. Tonight we're going to look at what we're going to do in the future, uh, what I have going on right now, and how we're all going to be involved in that. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, look at how to build this 3D printer that I bought for, uh, got it as a gift for Christmas. Uh, it's a it's built by Bob CNC. Um, it was made in America. Everything was it has really nice uh, birch wood plywood that is made out of five layer plywood. It's got a 200 mil by 200 millimeter by 200 millimeter build area, so it's a big build area. So I'm going to be doing a series of videos on how to uh, assemble and build that and program. Uh, the uh, electronics, how to set up the programs that's involved in uh, getting the printer to work. Uh, it's quite an involved process. I've been uh, uh, working and learning it for the last month or so, uh, just so I could uh, show you how, guys how the right way to do it. Um, so, without further ado, let's get right into it. This is the cover to the manual uh, that you can uh, download and either view online or print out at bobscnc.com. Uh, it's under the 3B printer section. Uh, just go there and download the right version. He's on version 2 right now. So you be sure to uh, download that manual. Uh, as we go through it, I'll try to explain my experience with this uh, uh, assembly and we will go from there. The first page of the manual is a pretty helpful uh, index of all the uh, things in the manual and where to find them. Uh, I've referred to this some um, uh, through while I was building it. Uh, I hope it comes in handy. Uh, in the next part of the manual we'll go over the specifications for the uh, project. Uh, it's got five layer of birch plywood. Uh, it's oil hardened uh, steel rods for the leaner rails. Filament drive. And he uh, had a special high grip V groove uh, and coupling. Uh, remote extruder, which is really nice with the 1.75 millimeter drive. Uh, the footprint, which would prints. Uh, or uh, the total size of the printer about 20 and a half inches including the spool holder which does stick out the side quite a bit uh, the depth the max travel is 21.7 inches uh, and the height is 26 so there's room for the filament guide uh, the print area as I mentioned before 200 millimeters by 200 millimeters by 200 millimeters uh, it's a good size build bed. I haven't uh, printed anything quite that tall yet, but uh, I'm good at I'm still getting the machine broken in and calibrated. Um, as obviously uh, safety is important, uh, always use the proper protective equipment and safety sense when building and operating the 3D printer. Um, the printer has high uh, voltage power supply. This one you don't really get into the high voltage power supply, it's pretty much in a power pack. Uh, but the extruder, I ended up getting burned like the second day I was using it from the extruder. It's uh, it's hot, don't touch it. Gave me a pretty good blister. So, um, And the operator should uh, uh, understand the hazards before operating the printer. Uh, that's always a good thing is to uh, uh, know those hazards, you know, and be prepared with something to reach in, with something uh, other than your hand to get little pieces of filament that are coming down and stuff. Um, and the required tools, you know, uh, please uh, get familiar with the steps before you begin. I'm going to try to familiarize you with the steps as we go along, so don't worry about that. Okay, well the next page, uh, to put the kit together you'll need the following, a Phillips screwdriver for the screws, some pliers to hold the nuts, a sharp knife, or a pair of side cutters to trim the zip ties and the string, 
uh, sandpaper to clean up the plywood edges and remove the sharp edges. Uh, now, when I did mine, definitely a Phillips screwdriver, pair of pliers. Um, I would totally save your hands and never ever cut a zip tie with a uh, with an exacto knife because that's just the way you're gonna cut yourself. Uh, so uh, side cutters are a must to be clipping and unclipping uh, uh, zip ties all through this project and you're gonna cut a lot of zip ties so having a pair of side cutters I'd say it's almost a must. Uh, sandpaper the thing was pretty clean I uh, did do a little tiny bit of cleanup with some sandpaper um, also sandpaper is very handy uh, for roughing up the build area when you're doing print PL blade plastic so some 100 grit sandpaper is an excellent idea to have around. Uh, tools you may need uh, soldering iron I definitely needed a soldering iron the ramps uh, 1.4 board I received with the kit uh, needed a lot of touch up soldering uh, uh, including some on the board just to get the board up and running some kind of um, major um, fuse was um, out of place um, or something or a diode um, it, it was kind of a mess I cleaned it up good though added some more solder um, diagonal cutters again yeah definitely get a pair of diagonal cutters uh, multimeter it's a great idea I would have one around doing projects all the time. Uh, for the printing you'll need to have a computer with USB to program and run the printer. If you get an optional SD card reader uh, you can go ahead and set it up to just run off the SD card but this kit doesn't include it. Um, calipers measure the distance. Uh, these are great. Uh, go down to uh, Harbor Freight, get yourself a pair of digital um, uh, calipers that read in millimeters. Uh, you save a lot of time. I have a pair of dial calipers that I uh, use that read out in inches, so I just convert it over. Um, and the calibration block uh, can be downloaded from uh, Bob CNC again. And uh, and I printed that calibration block out. I'll put a little piece of clip in of uh, me printing it out right now. Alright, well thanks for uh, watching my first print there, that was pretty exciting. Uh, that was the first print I ever made with a 3D printer. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that and I'd like you, if you would like, to like and uh, subscribe to my channel and let, I want to see it grow exponentially this year. Uh, I'm going to try to put some more content up. Uh, I'm going to complete this video series about building the uh, printer. I got a lot of footage from when I put it together. So, um, and I made a lot of mistakes and I'm going to try to make sure that you guys don't make the same mistakes as I did. So, uh, until next time, I appreciate it. I'm Jeff uh, with The Maker Show and this is um, how to build the uh, Bob CNC uh, uh, 3D printer. Thanks.